Welcome to a bill a minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now, many of America's top political figures on both sides of the aisle are 75 or older. At times, this has come with associated health or cognitive scares. For president on the Democratic side, Joe Biden is currently 80 and, if re-elected, would be 86 on his last day in office. For president on the Republican side, Donald Trump is 77 and, if re-elected, would be 82 on his last day in office. For Congress on the Democratic side, California's Dianne Feinstein was 90 when she recently died while still in office, by many accounts no longer mentally fit to serve. For Congress on the Republican side, Iowa's Chuck Grassley is also 90, while Kentucky's Mitch McConnell is 81 and has experienced two recent bouts of freezing or speechlessness at press conferences. Now, a new constitutional amendment proposal would set a 75 age maximum for president, vice president, and members of Congress. It was introduced in the House by Michigan Republican Representative John James, who, as you might imagine, is indeed younger than 75. Well, here's a song parody about it to the tune of the Bon Jovi 1980s rock classic, Wanted Dead or Alive, except this version is called Can't Be 75. president is getting up in years senators spark many aging fears they're freezing up so they should get the X with a new law that sets an age based max they're too old but we can turn the tide if they can't be mm -hmm. 75. Some of them barely seem alive, so they can't be uh, 75. Although, to be honest, I might start to oppose this proposal in about uh, 44 years. 